All right, so Yankees made their corresponding roster. We talked a little bit about this last night. Um, they sent out, optioned out Randy Vasquez. Um, I don't expect him to be out very long, but they optioned him out to AAA because they're going to be bringing up Carlos Rodon, reactivating him on Tuesday when he comes off the IL. Um, but they wanted a fresh bullpen arm, so they've called up Greg Weissert, and they're going to keep him up here for a couple days. They may option him back out. They may option someone else back out at some point when, when Rodon comes back because they will have to make the corresponding roster move. Now, uh, when that happens, <clears throat> you'll obviously get it here. But there's some other Yankee news I want to I want to go over with you too. You know, all signs are pointing towards right now, Everson Pereira getting a shot in September. But now we're hearing a couple other names. Obviously, Oswald Peraza, we want him back up here. But Austin Wells, left-handed hitting catcher, could be up here as well, getting a shot at the majors in September too. So they might have an infusion of youth here and energy, um, dynamic youth and energy here. In, in the next couple of weeks. So things to be potentially be excited about. And, you know, and, and they give us, they give us an idea. Like I, you know, I'm intrigued by a possible um, Austin Wells slash Ben Rorfett platoon, a catcher, two left-handed hitting catchers. Like that intrigues the hell out of me. So I hope it intrigues you. I hope it's something that you'll think about. And again, you know, unfortunately, Kyle Gashoka, you know, has, while credible and he's been a good Yankee, he's been proven to be pretty much a backup. And so is Jose Trevino, unfortunately. So, um, but if you does any way we can get some a good value out of, of Wells and a Warfed platoon, that that's in, that intrigues me. I don't know about you, but you know it's it's piquing my interest. And so, it's something to be excited about. It's not only Everson Pereira that might get a shot here. You might get Wells. You might get, you know, uh, Peraza. We might get an infusion of, especially if they become mathematically eliminated, right, from postseason. Then it makes sense to put these kids up here, call them up, and just give them a chance. Let them play. See what you got out of them, right? And so, I mean, something that excites me. And speaking of prospects, MLB Pipeline is one of the bigger – um, you know, one of the bigger named companies that does the MLB top 100 prospects and they do each team's top 30 prospects and all that. And they reshuffle this every single year. So they do it again. They do it again with the infusion of new draft picks and international signings and youth and whatnot. And they just did it for the Yankees. And they have a new number one prospect heading into 2024. It's Spencer Jones. Now, his, his ETA for MLB right now is 2025, but he's ahead of Everson Pereira, okay, and Jason Dominguez. So Dominguez is number two, Pereira is number three. So their top three prospects are going to be outfielders. So they got, you know, a good amount of depth, outfield depth there in terms of offensive prospect capital. But Spencer Jones is now, according to MLB Pipeline, their new number one prospect. And I'll attach the article down below for you so you can take a look at it. But um, this type of stuff intrigues me. And it's and it's things like this that just come out of nowhere. And I didn't expect him to be the number one, honestly, right away. But he's shown a hell of a lot of potential. He's shown a big bat, ability to play a good outfield, good defender. He's a big player. Hits from the left-handed side. He's, he's considered the left-handed equivalent of Aaron Judge. But... You know, a healthy Spencer Jones would be, and a healthy Aaron Judge would be a nice duo. I'll tell you that. But we'll see. He's going to be, He's according to MLB Pipeline, he's their new number one prospect heading into 2024. So more stuff, more stuff, more stuff to be excited about. And again, make sure, if you're not subscribed to this channel yet, please do that. That way you don't miss out on things like this, conversations like this, um, just breaking news hidden stuff here and there that you may not hear everywhere, anywhere else. So, and this one just came out. So I wanted to get this intel to you. So, and if you enjoy the content, hit the thumbs up. I thank you for both gestures. They're very, very helpful to the channel. And they're also greatly appreciated. And they mean the world to me. So I thank you for that. And it's a lot more stuff coming. So, but that's the roster with it. The Yankees made today. Okay. To get themselves right again, roster wise, Greg Weissert's up. They have a fresh bullpen arm. Okay. And, you know, Rodon's coming back on Tuesday, so we'll, there'll be we will be another move to make room for him. Okay, we've talked about the other guys that might get called up this year, which is can be is and can be pretty exciting. So I hope they, they both get the opportunity. So to me, Peraza is obvious. Pereira and um, 
you add Pereira and uh, Austin Wallace to that list, you get that trio up here. That's that's exciting to me when the rosters expand. So I hope they actually do that. I really, really hope they do that. And again, Spencer Jones is going to be the number one prospect heading into 2024, according to MLB Pipeline. So have a good day, everybody. And I'll talk to you all later for the post game. Go Yankees.